will be a video demonstration on how to fill an eyedropper filled fountain pen. Uh, for comparison, we're, uh, we're using the uh, Airmail 69T fountain pen is what we'll be filling today. Just for comparison, I have it sitting next to a Parker 51 so you can see that this is a, a pretty big pen. One of the benefits of an eyedropper filled fountain pen is they're able to hold more ink than a converter fill or a cartridge fill. The first step in this process would be to clean the barrel. Uh, when you get a new pen, it's a good idea to clean the barrel just in case there's any manufacturer residue. Or of course, if you're refilling, you might need to clean out an old color. I've already cleaned this pen, but what would you, do? you would do is use clean water, uh, rinse out the barrel, uh, use a cotton swab to dry out the barrel or remove any residue that you found. Uh, step two would be to grease the threads of the pen. Now the value of this, uh, the, the benefit of an eyedropper fountain pen is ink capacity. It can hold a lot of ink. This particular pen will hold about three and a half milliliters of ink. Uh, one possible drawback is if you're not careful, the ink can actually leak from the threads here. And so it's a good idea to grease the threads of your pen. Now we'll use silicone grease, which is a recommended grease for this process. I like to put my silicone in a uh, syringe like this. I got it from Ace Hardware if you're in the States. You can get it from a hardware store or from a uh, underwater diving supply store. And so the idea is to just add uh, a very small amount of the grease like this. If you buy a pen from us, I'd be glad to pre-grease your pen if you don't have any silicon grease. Spread the grease like that. And then what you'll do is uh, go ahead and screw the section into the barrel and unscrew it. A couple of times. Now what this does is it just spreads the grease out and what this is doing is it's creating a watertight barrier so that when you put the ink in uh, the ink won't be able to leak back out <clears throat> through the threads. And so then the final step there is go ahead and, and, and uh, thread it all the way together and wipe off any excess silicone that might uh, come out through the threads there. Okay now we'll remove the section from the barrel again and uh, our next step will be to fill the pen. We're going to use uh, Camel Royal Blue ink here. It's one of my personal favorites. Now you could use uh, just a regular eyedropper or I have a syringe that I prefer here. Now the key is how high to fill the ink. What you want to do is you want to fill the pen to the threads. So to the bottom of the threads of the pen. It's a good idea to have a cleanup cloth here. So the ink is filled to the bottom of the threads of the barrel. Now what we'll do is we will take the section and screw it halfway into the barrel. Only halfway. Like this. Now the reason we want to do that is it's, it's now created our watertight barrier, but we want to prime the feed of the pen. And so after we've screwed it in halfway, what we're going to do is we're going to turn the pen upside down and now we're going to screw the pen in the rest of the way. And what you're going to notice is going to happen is, is a couple of drops of ink should come out of the feed. Now what this has done is it's created the right amount of pressure in the barrel and it has primed the feed with ink. <clears throat> and so now after a little minor cleanup of the nib, we are now ready to write. And there you go. That's how you would fill an eyedropper fill fountain pen.